What's up everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to create a nested rollup or a rollup of a rollup. In Notion, you cannot do a rollup of a rollup unless you do it with a formula. So this is going to be the process of showing you how to recreate that. And this template will be in the descriptions. You can duplicate it and view the uh, formulas as you want. So in order to get started, I have started with two different databases, a products database and a sales leader database. So my products database already has all of my products listed as well as the revenue by product. In my sales leader dashboard, what I want to do is show who brought in what products and how much revenue total that equates to. In order to do that, I'm going to have to create a relation to my products database. So I'll go ahead and add that there and then I'll populate the content. So let's say Jim brought in revenue from product E, as Paul did from product E and C, and then Sandy from B and A. So now I have related these products to each of these sales leaders. Now what I want to do is create a rollup. A rollup will aggregate data that you have just related in these columns. So you will need to select the relation and then you can choose from the properties. And this is going to choose from the properties in the database that you had related. So it is going to pull those properties from the products database. And in this example, I want to put in the revenue by product and then I want to calculate the sum. So now I'm able to see the sum of, for example, Sandy, she brought in product A and B. What is the sum of A and B here? It is 102. So now I have created that roll up here. But let's say I wanted to have a summary da database where I'm going to see the total revenue by all of the products that were sold combined. So in order to do that, um, I will need to have to create a relation and you'll be able to see that you are able to do a rollup of a rollup in Notion. So let me show you what that looks like first. So I'm going to input all of the sales leaders here because I wanna pull in that information. But then if you go in to create a rollup of a rollup, you'll see that I am not able to select that as a property. So Notion doesn't recognize rollups as a way for you to roll up a rollup. The way around this is going to be to create a formula. So let me go ahead and show you the syntax here that is needed. So with the formula, you are going to go ahead and start by selecting the sum. So Again, you are going to want to add in all of the items of this rollup. So now that we have the sum, we are going to want to pull in the reference database that we want to pull in the numbers from, and that will be the sales leader database here. From there, we're going to want to select dot and then map, which is going to pull in the array of information from the expressions. We'll select current next, which is going to pull in the properties from the related database, select dot. And now we're able to see all of the related databases properties. So for example, the name, products, example, relation, and roll up here. And you will see that now that we are in the formula syntax, we are able to pull in a roll up. So now that we have created that, we're able to select done, and now you can see that it is pulling in the sum of all of the sa sold products by sales leader and pulling in within this summary database the total revenue here. So the formula for creating the rollup of a rollup is listed here. And then if you wanted to just create a rollup formula, this is the way to do it here. Um, and these are just explanations for what those actually do. So to create a rollup formula, this is the um, expression here, the formula, and you will just input your own properties here in order to recreate. And then again, for the rollup of a rollup, you'll be able to pull in this information. 
So now you can aggregate more information using formulas with um, Notion's latest formula update. Hope this helps and please leave any questions in the comments.